Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace His Highness the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, who presented to His Majesty the President of the International Federation of Association Football, the FIFA, Gianni Infantino, and Presidents of uh, Contentional Federations and uh, the FIFA. Secretary General on the occasion of their visit to the kingdom to attend the 67th FIFA Congress hosted in Bahrain. His Majesty welcomed the kingdom's guests, wishing them a pleasant stay and a success in their meeting to contribute to enhancing FIFA's march and football sport globally. His Majesty affirmed the importance of the kingdom's achievements in various youth and sports fields and the continuing development of the national teams and the outstanding levels they have achieved in world and regional participation. Noting the keenness of the kingdom to develop sports facilities for various games, he expressed the kingdom's pride in hosting the sports event attended by world football leaders, which proves the remarkable status the kingdom holds in football. He also expressed appreciation for FIFA's efforts to develop football globally and for supporting various programs aimed or aiming to advance the sport, highlighting the role of the presidents of continental federations in serving it. He stresses the role of the sport in enhancing relations with various countries, affirming the importance of solidifying cooperation between international, continental and national federations to serve the aspirations of developing the sport. His Majesty hailed the efforts of the President of the Asian Football Association, Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, of creating developmental programs that contribute to advancing the sport. For their part, the President of the International Federation of Association Football and President of Continental Federations expressed thanks and appreciation for the warm welcome they received in the Kingdom, aiding the development of Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, met today with a number of royal family members and state officials. He noted that uh, the role of the people in the national development and achieving political and economic growth, highlighting the people's unity and love for their nation. We confirmed, or he confirmed, the government's care to continue adopting initiatives that polish the skills of its human resources in terms of education and training, so as to make them a more effective element in the development process of Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty the King. The Prime Minister praised the progress all sectors are witnessing, which have been made thanks to the tremendous efforts and responsibility of the people in order to maintain the kingdom's pioneering status in. The region and the world. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Ghalibiya Palace today the Ambassador of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to Bahrain, Dr. Abdullah bin Abdul Malik Al Sheikh, and United Arab Emirates Ambassador to Bahrain, Abdul Rida Abdullah Al Khouri. The Prime Minister said regional challenges only strengthened the Gulf, noting that it was, or it was how the Gulf states were able to overcome all conspiracies threatening their security and stability. He confirmed that reinforcing Gulf cooperation with major power is essential as they are showing a more understanding as and positive uh, position in regards uh, to what is happening in the region in terms of terrorism led by external hands. His Royal Highness noted the excellent historic relations among Bahrain, Saudi Arabia and the UAE, commending the ongoing cooperation among them in all fields. He praised the honorable stances of Saudi Arabia and the UAE in supporting Bahrain in all circumstances. The meeting also reviewed regional and international updates where His Royal Highness the Prime Minister stressed that rapid developments require intensifying regional and international meetings so as to push a forward joint cooperation.
deputized by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Bahrain Defense Force Commander in Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa attended today an honoring ceremony for a force of duty 10 who has participated in Operation Restoring Hope in Yemen alongside Arab coalition forces led by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Upon arrival, BDF Commander-in-Chief was received by the Minister of Defense Affairs, Lieutenant General Yusuf Al-Jalahma, and the Commander of the Royal Guard, Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al-Khalifa. Then Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad delivered a speech in which he expressed appreciation to the BDF Commander-in-Chief for honoring the force's members. The BDF Commander-in-Chief then presented medals to a number of officers and members of Force of Duty 10, and the BDF Commander-in-Chief then presented medals to the officers' appreciation for their national efforts in performing their noble duty. Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed expressed pride in them for taking part in Operation Restoring Hope in Yemen alongside Arab coalition forces led by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Following the directives of His Majesty the King in line with the joint defense agreement among Gulf Cooperation Council countries and their deep-rooted brotherly relations. He conveyed to them the appreciation of His Majesty the King for their efforts and commended the dedication of all BDF officers in courageously undertaking their tasks. The Deputy Prime Minister and President of the Ministerial Committee for Urbanization and Infrastructure, Sheikh Khaled bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, visited today the Southern City Project, where he chaired the committee's meeting in the presence of its members and a number of officials from ministries and relevant government service bodies. The Deputy Prime Minister affirmed that constructing modern residential cities is the government's priority goal. He stated that increasing the number of model residential cities from two to five under implementation cities covering all the kingdom's governance proves the kingdom's or the government's desire to continue its approach of providing livelihood to citizens. He noted that the project represents a cornerstone of implementing the order of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa of constructing 40,000 residential units. He added that the project is a living model of implementing the latest technical standards and specifications in terms of modern building models and increasing the width of main and uh, subsidiary streets. Sheikh Khaled uh, was assured that the implementation of the units coincides with the implementation of the infrastructure work. He thanked the Saudi Fund for Development and the Kuwait Fund for Arab Economic Development, Abu Dhabi Fund for Development for their support and funding of the residential and infrastructure projects under the construction in the kingdom. He also thanked the Minister of Housing and all the ministry's members for their efforts in cooperation with the ministry's uh, government service bodies to achieve uh, the leadership's vision and hand handling the housing file. For his part, the Minister of Housing, Basim bin Yaqub al Hamar, expressed thanks and gratitude to the wise leadership and the government for their interest in the housing file, hailing the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid's initiative of uh, transferring the meeting to the southern city residential location. Deputy Prime Minister Chairman of the Ministerial Committee for Urbanization and Infrastructure, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, carried out a visit to Al Jazeera Farms, located south of the Tree of Life. His Highness Sheikh Khaled was accompanied by a number of ministers, members of the Committee for Urbanization and Infrastructure, along with officials. The visit aims to review uh, this company's leading experience in the production and marketing of agriculture and livestock in the region. His Highness Sheikh Khaled hailed the efforts of the 
company, which along with other similar projects, contribute to restoring the status of the Bahraini agricultural and livestock produ products. He also urged Bahraini farmers to produce dates and to contribute to the realization of the vision based on transforming the kingdom into a major center in the region to grow the finest states varieties, to meet the domestic demand and export the surplus abroad. His Highness Sheikh Khaled underscored that the uh, private sector's contributions in support of official efforts to achieve sustainable food security are encouraged and appreciated by the government. He also affirmed that the notable demand for investment in the agricultural sector has been matched by the government's keenness to provide more facilities to agriculture investors. These facilities include the development of planning for the use of agricultural land and to modernize the existing legislative framework to implement more legal regulations in this vital sector, particularly with regard to allowing the export of Bahraini agricultural products after ensuring that demand is covered in the domestic market. The Deputy Premier added that the main objective of any investment project is achieving profitability. The agricultural sector, however, carries other important dimensions for Bahrain. His Highness noted that the Committee for Urbanization and Infrastructure continues to examine the features of the comprehensive national strategy on the development of the agricultural sector. The committee is being aided in its task by the Water Resources Council, which considered earlier the feasibility of holding agricultural projects in the southern region of the kingdom and the subsequent transfer of sewage and its treatment at the same site to be suitable for the cultivation of certain varieties of crops. For his part, the Director General of Al Jazeera Farms, Sheikh Rashid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Khalid for visiting the site along with their fellow ministers. He noted that, that uh, such visits is a boost to achieve the company's commitment towards the community which is represented in the development of the agricultural sector in Bahrain. The Representatives Council held its second extraordinary meeting today of the third annual session of the fourth legislative term. The meeting was chaired by the Council Speaker Ahmed Ibrahim Al Mullah. The Council decided to refer the draft law concerned with electronic uh, transactions to the Finance and Economic Affairs Committee as well as to the Legislative and Legal Affairs Committee for comments. The Council also decided to refer the draft law concerned with granting a percentage of the land for housing projects to the Commission of Public Utilities and the Environment as well as to the Legislative and Legal Affairs Committee for comments. The Minister of Labor and Social Development, Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamedan, inaugurated today the third educational sector employment exhibition organized by the Ministry of Labor at its headquarters. The minister affirmed that the ministry increases efforts of providing uh, initiatives that uh, provide suitable job opportunities for citizens to accommodate new entrances and accelerate uh, their integri integrity or integration into the labor market. He noted that the number of vacancies offered reflects the improvement in market operations to obtain specific vacancies from establishments and workplaces, stressing that the ministry does not impose the employment of unqualified Bahrain on enterprises. He added that the ministry exerts efforts with its main partners to reduce the cost gap for Bahraini workers. He urged uh, female job seekers to benefit from the exhibition highlighting the role of Bahraini women in fulfilling their noble educational mission in uh, private educational institutions. He noted that the ministry encourages the empowerment of women and their integration in the labor market. The Chief of the Public Security, Major General Tariq bin Hassan Al Hassan, attended today the uh, Royal Police Academy, the graduation ceremony of the 15th Police Cadets, which includes 501 members. The ceremony was attended by uh, senior officers from the Ministry of Interior and the graduates' families. Upon arrival, Major General Tariq was received by the commander of the Royal Academy of Police and a number of uh, general managers. The ceremony began with playing the major general anthem.
and then the public security chief inspected the robe. The police graduates presented their practical skills, which showed their competence, discipline and outstanding performance. The academy commander delivered a speech in which he expressed thanks and appreciation to the Minister of Interior and President of the Academy's Board of Trustees, hailing his keenness on developing practical training. He noted that the public security chief's follow-up and support had a major role in making achievements. The graduates then took their oaths and the public security chief honored the excellent graduates. <laughs> The public security chief commended the directives of the Minister of Interior to develop the Academy's educational and training programs, highlighting uh, the role of the police training institution in preparing and developing programs according to the highest globally adopted standards. He added that Bahrain police was able throughout the years to achieve a remarkable progress in the security performance, noting that a security strategy that implements all forms of scientific and technological progress and applies it to detect a crime and fighting, it was adopted. Inspector General Major General Abdullah Hassan and Naimi attended the final joint exercise entitled Wolf's Clause 2017, conducted by the Bahrain Defense Force, the BDF, Royal Special Force, and the UAE's Presidential Guard to the Armed Forces. The exercise aims to enhance military cooperation between the Bahrain Defense Force and the UAE Armed Forces. Now, as well as elevating the level of competency of the special forces, after the recitation of verses from the Holy Quran, a speech was delivered, followed by a briefing of the different exercise stages, the participating groups and the goals of uh, this exercise. The exercise began by encircling the area, then purging and securing targets within the perimeter. One of the groups carried out live shooting while advancing towards the targets and other various combat operations that were carried out with excellent execution, demonstrating the sophisticated and professional implementation of combat tactics. The National Committee to Combat Human Trafficking launched a national referral system for the first time in the region in cooperation with the United Nations and the International Organization for Migration yesterday in the Labor Market Regulatory Authority. More details in the following report by Hiba Abdel Ghaffar. The National Committee for Combating Human Trafficking has launched the National Referral System, the first of its kind in the region. The system aims to strengthen anti-trafficking measures, clarify and regulate the role of different agencies and their mechanisms in dealing with any case of trafficking and identifying suspected ones. The system includes two organizational aspects covering the functions, responsibilities, competencies, work of the relevant committees and stakeholders, along with a procedural aspect that includes explanatory maps of the operations, the responsible for each procedure and the models used sequentially in accordance with the procedures. 
The competent authorities represented by the Ministry of Interior, Labor Market Regulatory Authority, Public Prosecution or Labor Courts provide help and support to the victims and follow up on their progress. It's an entire end-to-end -end system that goes far beyond the document, but the document is much needed to be handy, to be available in any police station, in any hospital, private or public, in houses of worship, civil societies, uh, Everyone who may come across a victim must have access to this document so he knows how to correctly, swiftly and professionally deal with it. The United Nations Office on Drugs and Crimes provides support, training and consulting in this area, praising the model provided by Bahrain. Uh, developing the capacities uh, of the national team of experts from Bahrain uh, when it comes to, to the protection of victims and uh, uh, the cooperation between the stakeholder agencies on the ground, the judiciary, prosecution and the police uh, in detecting and protecting the victims uh, and potential victims of uh, human uh, trafficking. Moreover, the International Organization for Migration is coordinating with 160 countries through 460 representative offices to unify efforts, visions, laws and mechanisms. Special sensitive kind of case uh, that, that requires a very specific kind of assistance. Uh, it requires uh, uh, speed and assistance. It requires to be uh, very careful on the do's and don'ts on, on, when, when dealing with victims. It's also uh, very tricky to, to, to identify victims themselves in the very, in the very beginning. Um, the process itself also involves many different stakeholders and uh, not having a uh, document uh, that uh, tells which, uh, which entity or which stakeholder comes in at which stage uh, it makes it very difficult to operate. Hand in hand, organizations are united through a collaborative framework to fulfill their obligations to combat the root causes and set precautions, not only solutions. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdel Ghafour. Very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Shog Mohammed. Bahrain Al Share Index has closed at 1,315.7 point ports, marking a decrease of 6.34 points below the previous closing. The decrease was in the commercial banks, investment, and services sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 51% of total shares. 51 transactions included 2,835,222 shares worth 837,228 Bahraini dinars. The Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry held a seminar discussing the general budget and the impact it has on the local economy. More on this report with Yasmin Ibrahim. The Public Affairs Committee of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry organized a seminar under the title The General Budget Implications for the Local Economy held at the Bahrain Council Hall. Bahrain, as well as many other countries, is facing challenges. And the reason why we are holding this conference and the topic is an issue uh, that has been discussed in all our councils and in the Chamber of Commerce as well. We feel it's our duty to uh, bring a group discussion to tackle the issue and uh, enlighten some of the uh, people who have questions, who need an answer. The seminar aims at presenting the role of the general budget and its impact on the local economy, the private sector's understanding of the current situation, and ways to overcome the negative repercussions of the rise in public debt on the economy. Every businessman would like to know what the expenditure of government is going to be for the years to come plan his uh, expenditure, his business plan and, and to organize himself in expectation of government spending during coming years. 
and today we are discussing what is going to take place in uh, in, uh, in in our government head as to what kind of expectation uh, we ought to receive from them guidelines for the future of our development the seminar was attended by a number of official authorities in the kingdom expressing the hope that the effectiveness will achieve its objectives and contribute to the service of the private sector in the kingdom the seminar was another important milestone for Bahrain as it facilitated the space to discuss opportunities and overcome challenges. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim.